Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the top 10 best shooting guards in NBA 2K23, my team here on this list. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 9,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, though, let's hop right into it, and let's start off with number 10, which is actually where, where I'm going to put the level 40 reward from this season, which is Zach Levine. Um, he's good. He's just not incredible. Would have liked to see him be better for sure the things he does have going for him um number one is the fact he can get every badge upgraded and every badge added which means badges on gold and silver you can upgrade as high as tier as you want and you can add whatever badges he's not coming with that you'd like to add on him as well which is very nice but he does not have great defensive badges especially hoffs um shooting badges are very very solid as are the playmaking badges and the finishing badges uh, he's got 95 speed excel 94 shot 3 98 driving duck and really solid all around defense although not incredible but he's undersized as well so not a great defender and undersized hurts a bit the release is not elite and his sigs while decent are also not incredible so mediocre animations not the best defender and a little bit undersized is enough at this point considering how strong the shooting guard position is for him to be only number 10. number nine i'm going with pink diamond andre Iguodala, one of the best in uh, defensive shooting guards in my team really like this card a lot to be honest especially for my budget players out there six six for the six level wingspan three out of five hot spots ten offs include five finishing badges and five defensive badges gold anchor bunch of good gold shooting and playmaking badges no limitless range hurts the card but the defensive stats are incredible he's a really good slasher and he's super quick with a good three ball rating but release is mediocre which hurts as well mj dribble style is great kobe escape is super nice even his size of normal size is pretty good the slow ish release though and the fact he doesn't have incredible shooting badges with no limitless range is still enough to hold him back and is why i only have him a number nine but for a budget card i really like iggy a lot especially on the defensive end number eight is going to be ricky davis still one of the better offensive cards in my team but defensively he just struggles a little bit at this point to be honest six seven with a six ten wingspan but no half defensive badges only silver glove interceptor bronze ankle by pick dodger though they can be upgraded no anchor or brick wall half clamp breaker quick for supper super nice gold limitless half dead eye and amped half posterizer gold limitless takeoff solid stats not insane but 92 speed and excel 92 shot 3 95 driving dunk and solid all around defense but nothing too insane and the main thing with this card is the fact that he just does kind of struggle on the defensive end uh, moves really really well though dane willard behind the back mj dribble style t-max size up all elite six and a very very good release as well so he's one of the best offensive shooting guards in the game but defensively he's not incredible and honestly his badges have followed a little bit behind behind the times as well which hurts him a little bit but still like the card and i still think he deserves a top 10 spot number seven is going to be kobe bryant uh kobe bean needs a better dribble style is his main thing to be honest he's got decent size hot spots from everywhere eight hoffs including hoff limitless clamps menace dead eye agent three posterizer great stats 95 speed and excel 94 shot 30 97 driving duck 95 speed of all really good defensive stats badge wise has most of the things you could ask for at least on gold like anchor no brick wall but outside of that really nothing to complain about he can get rise up already has gold limitless takeoff hoff posterizer and a very good good release the main problem with this card is number one pro two leaner i mean that's not a huge issue to be honest pro two leaner is still a good leaner um and honestly i don't think the leaner is quite as crucial as everyone makes it out to be and it doesn't matter at all on current gen but the jacoby dribble style just isn't good and his half court and full court six overall are not very good outside of the escape so he's missing the six and uh, he's not like over the top incredible stats badges or animations wise so um that hurts kobe and again it holds him back just a little bit back to only number seven number six is gonna be paul pierce one of the best free cards that has dropped uh recently and one of the best free cards in the game period uh six seven with a six ten wingspan hot spots are everywhere outside the three nine hops include a bunch of shooting badges like agent three blinders catch and shoot and limitless range as well as bully and anchor ton of good gold badges but half anchor is so nice the shooting our position playmaking badges are really good on gold and the defense or the slashing badges are good as well even with no limitless takeoff little slow but he's a very good shooter solid slasher and a really really good defender with a decent release even on very quick i will say it's not super fast but it's not bad but the normal leaner on very quick is incredible so that's that's super valuable and he's got good sigs as well mj dribble style normal size up like i said earlier is solid kobe escape is very good so he's got some very solid sigs on him as well so does a lot of things well really big at the shooting guard position that half anchor is so nice defensively but wish his release was still a little bit faster and wish he could get a couple more badges like limitless takeoff which would probably push him even to that next higher level Luol Deng is going to come in at number five for me, the highest ranked diamond on this list. Really good card. Six foot nine with a seven foot wingspan. So he's got incredible size for a shooting guard. Even though he's not super fast, he's a very good shooter, a very solid slasher with gold limitless takeoff, posterizer, bully, fast twitch, and great, great defense off challenger, clamps, glove, and menace, gold anchor. All the other key gold defensive badges you could ask for. Same thing with gold playmaking, shooting badges, having limitless range, having clamp breaker, quick first step, bailout, break starter. And a good release as well. MJ dribble style, Mitchell size of Lillard behind the back. Great, great sigs. Really, really good all the way around the only reason he's not higher in all honesty is just because he's a diamond he's missing some badges his stats aren't insane but he is really really good and his size kind of puts the cherry on top at the shooting guard position 
At number four, this was a tough decision, but I still think I got to go Kazzy Russell at number four. Don't quite have him top three, but he is, a, again, an amazing card. There is no doubting that at all. He's a little undersized. 6'5 with a 6'9 wingspan. Doesn't have incredible size, but 93 speed and excel. Hoff post razor, gold limitless takeoff. Hoff fast switch and bully. Hoff catch and shoot corner specialist, gold limitless range. No agent three, which is annoying, but a uh, bunch of Hoff playmaking badges and gold anchor as well as the all, all the other gold defensive badges you want. Super good defensive stats. Great, great slasher and a very good shooter with the Lomelo base. Don't adore this Jalen Green upper, but I still think his release is really good and Things are also amazing. CP3 dribble style. Darren Fox size up and load behind the back, topping those off. So really, again, an incredible card. Um, if he was bigger or maybe had a couple of the badges that I'd like to see, maybe like defensive badges and uh, age and three, you could add those to him, things like that. Maybe he'd be even a little bit higher, but I do think he's really, really good and deserves a top three spot. Number two is, or number three, I should say, is going to be Terry Dish here. Kazzy deserves a top four spot because Terry at the three, at the number three spot on this list is incredible. Coming in at 6'7", with a 6'11", wings been giving him great size a great player build three elite finishing badges on hoff as well as gold uh fast twitch shooting badges are really good some good hoffs as well as limitless range hoff clamp breaker quick first step challenger and clamps no anchor on him and no handles for days those two badges matter a lot but it's okay because he still has great size of shooting arm, which helps him out a lot defensively. Really good defensive stats. Like I said, the player build is elite. And he's got some of the best dunk animations in the game in addition to an incredible release and really, really good SIGs. So even though he's missing important stats, his animations are incredible. Uh, his stats are incredible. He is, like I said, missing those important anchor and Hall of Fame or anchor and handles for ace badges. But even without them, because of how good his player build, his SIGs and his stats and his badges outside of anchor and handles for days are, Terry is still a top three shooting guard in the game, one of the best cards in my team. Dr. J is going to be number two for the first time this year, not being number one. And uh, y'all will see why here in just a second. But 6'6 six, six with a 6'11 wingspan and an afro that looks makes him look closer to 6'7 or 6'8. Hot spots from everywhere. 20 hoffs include the key finishing badges you could ask for, as well as catch and shoot, dead eye, clamp breaker, handles for days, hyperdrive, quick first step, ankle breaker, defensive badges. You can add whatever badge you'd like to him because he's a hot uh, trophy case player, meaning badges like Agent 3, Limitless Range, Anchor, Brick Wall, Vice Grip, if you want to add that, Rise Up, Masher, etc. Uh, 96 speed and excel, 90 shot 3, 98 driving dunk, 92 speed with ball, incredible defensive stats. Statistically, he's incredible. Badge wise, he's incredible. And then shooting wise, he's really good as well. John Wall based Rudy Gay Upper is really good, even on normal. And then the MJ's MJ dribble style, normal size of Kobe Escape helps his half court sigs to be very, very good as well. So Dr. J is still a top tier card, but he's not number one anymore because of one specific guy who came out last Friday, and that is Vince Carter, the new best shooting guard in my team. I love this Vince Carter. I actually got lucky enough to pull him while I was recording the R Team podcast on Saturday, which was super cool because I adore this card. 6'6 six, six with a 6'9 wingspan is very solid size. Half limitless takeoff, post riser, fast twitch, boldly catch and shoot, dead eye, limitless range, age of three, clamp breaker, hyper drive, quick first step, anchor, glove, pogo stick, and then the ability to like trophy case cards, get every badge added and upgraded. So you can put whatever gold and then Hoff badges on him that you would like. 97 speed and excel, 96 shot three, 98 driving duck, 92 perimeter, 93 lateral, really good interior defender, 95 steel ball. One of the best releases in the game, Kuzma base, Vince's upper is really good. On quick, even with the pro two leaner, I don't care. He's still the best shooting guard in the game and he moves incredibly well with the MJ dribble style. De'Aaron size up, John Wall escape. Moving behind the back being Trey is really the only sick I don't like, but that's okay. He is so complete and so good in so many aspects and the best shooting guard currently in my team, which makes this my list of the top 10 shooting guards in the game right now. Left off guys like Michael Jordan and J.R. Smith. So those guys are kind of honorable mentions, but let me know what you think of my list down in the comment section down below. If there's anybody I rank too high or too low or left off the list entirely that you think deserves a top 10 spot. And uh, I'll let you know what I think in the comments. But if y'all did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.